Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store, as God hath prospered him, that there be no gatherings when I come. You probably recognize those words from 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and verse number 2. We won't attempt here to add anything to anything that you have studied or heard preached on those words. But there are some things worthy of our further consideration and application in our lives. God has told us what to do, but He has not told us specifically how to do it. Local customs from place to place might differ in the means of how to apply the words that Paul has written for us. My travels amongst the churches have given me opportunity to see a number of different ways that people apply the Scriptures, and yet they obey the Scriptures. They do what God commanded to be done. If God hasn't told us how, then we can't legislate for others on how a thing must be done, just so it's done as God has directed. In Psalm 107, verse number 22, the Scripture says, Let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare His works with rejoicing. I heard a man one time say that there is no sacrifice in the New Testament. He was rejoicing in that. He was speaking specifically of the animal sacrifices that, and the grain and that, but that was done under the Old Testament law. But he was firm in asserting that there is no sacrifice in New Testament worship. He completely misunderstands worship and sacrifice. You see, it's true that when we come to worship God, we're sacrificing our time to come before Him to worship, and we're sacrificing our ideas of what we would like to give Him in worship. When we worship Him in spirit and in truth, according to John chapter 4 and verse 24, God has told us what to do to worship Him. He has told us what pleases Him, what actually worships Him. And we sacrifice our will, the rule of our lives, by yielding to His will, following, obeying His rule and instructions for life. And then when it comes to this matter of financial contribution, we're sacrificing our material possessions for the work of the Lord's church. There is indeed sacrifice in the New Testament. When we come before God in the assemblies of the church to worship Him, we must keep our focus on God. It's not about money. It's not about material things. It's about the sacrifice of our heart our will, our words, and so in all the particulars of worship. It's all about God, what we owe to Him, what we sacrifice to Him. And that's what He wants from us, and that's what He will truly bless.